Power Start Episode 2 in Forge of Empires. This time we get a loading screen from the Middle Ages. This video starts 10 hours after the end of Episode 1. The Forge Point stock is full again. We first see a list with what happened in the meantime. Many of our friendship requests of Episode 1 have been accepted. Other players also are looking for friends and I accepted their requests. I first collect the productions and start short productions. The collected forge points can now be used in the technology tree. The research of construction enables the Friends Tavern. This building will become very important for us soon. Players from our friends list will be able to visit our tavern. Each visit will bring us some silver coins. In the beginning we invest all these silver coins only to improve the friends tavern. Later in the game we will receive significant benefits from this building. In the friends list we still see many open friendship requests. Trying to visit the first player's tavern fails. This player still has not yet constructed a tavern. This is better with all other players. Some taverns are simply full, so that we cannot visit these. That can always happen. With the more advanced players, there's always a chance to receive some silver coins or a forge point, as the visit of Fiscomanic demonstrates. This is the advantage of not having fresh players only in the friends list. The technology tools is our next research. This provides, like the research wheel yesterday, the possibility to expand the area where we can build our city. Using the menu we can place these expansions below. For the first expansion we pay 100 coins. The price for the second is already 300 coins. The price climbs with each expansion. I start the construction of two stone circles. These are cultural buildings. They provide much more happiness than the decorations we used until now. I start one hour productions and log off again. Before I go to bed in the evening, I again collect all productions, restart them and use all my forge points. The bar will be refilled with forge points in the morning. The last action of the day is to demolish the old decorations. By this I want to avoid that friends helping me waste their polishes on tiny decorations. This aid helps much more when they get targeted, a stone circle or production building. This also was the reason why I destroyed the trees yesterday. By the way, we got our first achievement. The target of having 60 friends has been completed by 50% and is rewarded with an achievement. These achievements indicate the progress in the game and you can pick three to be visible for other players. This is something that we will do when we have more impressive achievements. In the bottom left box you can enter a profile text. I use it to tell everybody that this is the account related to my YouTube channel. Next morning I collect the overnight productions, start new one hour productions and collect the silver in the friends tavern. I immediately invest the silver in one more seat in the tavern to increase our future earnings from the tavern. To receive motivations and polishes and for stable flow of silver coins we need friends who are active. The friends list has a maximum of 140 friends but we can invite only 80 of them. The forge points collected overnight I invest into the technology cultivation. There are many events and historical quest lines in Forge of Empires. From now on we can participate in these. The remaining forge points I use to research chalets. This is the Bronze Age building with the best population per size ratio. 
I recommend to use only that best building type of each age. Accordingly, I immediately build a couple of these. During the day, I occasionally log in again. I always collect the productions, restart them and this time I also replace the huts and old houses by chalets. Often such a lock-in only lasts a minute. But this is already enough to keep the productions up and to develop the city. I slowly increase the production rate of supplies. The newly researched fruit farm comes in very handy. Without a spare fighter barracks my population is enough for a second fruit farm. Now it is 24 hours ago that I helped my neighbors. We can do that again now. Beside the coins I also receive a blueprint of the lighthouse of Alexandria. I hope it will not take long to get some more as my plan is to make this our first great building. Finally the tavern needs to be collected again. Our last goal for the second day is the production of goods. The technology that we need is growing and the required number of forge points I simply buy with coins. Once again I collect all productions. Then I can complete the research. Every once in a while I have to collect the silver in the tavern and I invest it in a bigger table for the tavern. In preparation of the coming goods production I reconstruct my city again. We need another two chalets and these require more culture. We are making good progress on our way to our first goods production. Whenever I log in I check the tavern. We build more houses and finally we can construct the vineyard. We receive a warning that we ignore for now. Overnight we will produce the first two goods. More about that warning and how the power start will continue you can see in the third part of this little Let's Play series. Until then I start 8 hour night productions.